Hey there, Gemini, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. In this reading, we're going to look at past, present, and near future energies, as well as any energies the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week. Also, Gemini, please remember that if someone is strongly energetically connected to you, they may show up in your reading, so take the energies as they resonate. They may be reversible between you and your person. All right, Gemini, the main energy that you're going to be dealing with this week is the Two of Pentacles. There's a decision which is confusing you a little bit. You need to make a decision. You need to pick something. You don't know what to do, though. In the recent past, you get the Six of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Two of Wands. There is a soul connection showing up here for you in the recent past, and it's giving you a lot of things to think about. You're thinking, you're overthinking, you're thinking, you're overthinking, whatever it is when it comes to this connection. And I see you while you're thinking kind of like, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not moving. I'm not budging. I'm just, why can't I pick these cards up? I'm just going to stay put while I figure out what it is that I want to do. In your current situation, you get the Three of Cups, the Tower, and the Hanged Man. You're coming to the realization, and it's kind of going to hit you out of nowhere, where it's like, I want to reconcile with this person. I want to get back together with this person. But you're not going to do it. You know why? Because you're stopping yourself. Um, which I don't know why, but we'll see when we clarify. In the near future, you get the Death, the Two of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Something here that ended, Gemini, I feel like you're like, yeah, I still have love for this, so I don't care that it ended. I'm still carrying emotions for this. And the fact that you still carry emotions for something that ended at some point is a little bit confusing to you. You're kind of like, wait, why do I still feel these things? Why do I still care about you? Um, interesting. Let's clarify. Let's take a look. Let's clarify the Six of Cups in your recent past and see what this soul connection is all about showing ah, too many cards. Nope, didn't fall. I only take them if they fall. It's so funny. One of the cards that was supposed to fall out was the Seven of Cups, but it didn't fall, so I didn't take it. It was meant to come out anyway. Six of Cups is clarified by the Star, the High Priestess, and the Seven of Cups. Like I said, this is a soul connection between you and another person, and I feel like it's bringing in a lot of confusion for you. I feel like your soul is calling this connection in, your spirit is calling this connection in, like your higher self is calling this connection in. You're a little bit confused about it. You're kind of like, what the heck is this? Why is this in my life? Where did you come from? There's like a lot of questions coming in. Your higher self knows what this is. Your higher self called this in. You, on the other hand, your 3D world self is kind of a little bit confused as to like, okay, well, this is here. What am I supposed to do with this now? Um, in the recent past. So let's see. Let's clarify the eight of swords in your recent past and see what you're, you're feeling a little bit stuck about or possibly overthinking a little bit. Why are your cards giving me an attitude today? Thank you. The Eight of Swords is clarified by the Temperance, the Ace of Swords, and the Fool. The thing you're overthinking here, Gemini, is trying to decide whether you want to have a fresh, clean start. This could be with a connection. This could just be overall where you're like, hey, clean slate, erase everything. You're taking the time and you're really taking the time to think about this. You want to make sure that you are crystal clear about this new beginning, about what direction you should pursue before you move, before you take action. And so I understand in the recent past why you're overthinking this a lot is because you want to make sure that whatever path you take, it is the right one and you're not rushing this at all. In the recent past, you're just like, I'm going to take my sweet time to figure this out, um, which makes sense. You don't want to make a wrong decision, but there's really no wrong decision, right? At the moment, we decide it. We always think it's right. Let's take a look at the two of wands in your recent past. See what this waiting is about. It could be that you're still waiting to come up with the, the right decision or to figure out which path you want to take. Two of wands is clarified by the king of pentacles, the devil, and the nine of swords. This could have to do with more so your job or your career, there's something here that's showing up which is giving you a little bit of anxiety. Something about your job or your career, your finances, something like that, it's not happening as quickly as you would like. It's almost like you want this to happen faster and you're kind of like 
well, what's happening? What's going on? The sense of urgency that you may have could be a pattern of yours where it's like you want things to happen a lot faster than they generally do. And when they don't happen as quickly as you would like them to, you get a little bit anxious and you start getting scared and fearful. Um, but I see you kind of just like almost wanting to just be like, okay, come on, come on already. Come on, come on. Why is all this waiting happening? So whatever this is, this could have to do with a connection where you want things to happen a lot faster than they are happening. Um, I'm getting this has more to do with your job or your finances where you possibly are. It's like you're waiting for more money to come in or you're waiting for some news about your job or a raise or your finances and it's not happening as quickly as you would like and you're kind of getting sick of waiting. And this waiting is also making you a little bit anxious. Let's take a look. Let's look at this three of cups in your current situation. Three of cups is clarified by the queen of swords, the page of wands and the four of swords. There's a desire that you have to come together with somebody else. This could be to reconcile with them or this could just be to spend time with somebody and just feel good about it. Even if you don't want to reconcile with this person, we all have this desire to just spend time in somebody's company and just be like, okay, there's no negative energy here. There's no heavy energies. Like, let's just feel chill about this. The whole reason that you have this desire is because you're trying to heal something here. I feel like you're trying to heal this connection where, you know, things may have gone down in like not the best way between you and them, but you have this desire to just spend time with this person and be like, okay, all the negative energy that's gone. This is healed. This is worked out. This is good. Like we feel chill with each other. Um, that's your desire and you are coming from a very good place. You're coming from like a, a place of passion, right? So this isn't like you're trying to start shit or you're just doing this to play games. Like you're coming from a very like honest place. Um, the problem is you may be coming at this with a bit of cold energy. So if, if this is you approaching the other person, they may perceive you as coming off as a little bit cold and possibly trying to play games. I can see with your energy that you're not coming from a game playing place. You're coming from a place of having the desire to heal, but you are coming off as a little bit cold and possibly even tactical. And so this other person may look at this and be like, why are you playing games? Like, wh what are you playing at? What's the point here? You know, um, let's look at this tower in your current situation and see what that's about. Every sign that I've read for thus far has gotten the tower in their reading. So I feel like this is kind of like a collective energy where there's a lot of tower moments happening. So the tower is clarified by the queen of wands, the five of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. <clears throat> um, Gemini, I feel like you're very confident at this time. You're showing up in a very good position. And I feel like this confidence that you have is almost surprising you. Um, there may have been a breakup, there may have been a separation, possibly in the current situation or in the recent past. Either way, I see you separated from somebody here, but you're still showing up in a very good energy. You're showing up as like, I got me, I'm doing me, I'm focusing on me, I feel great, I feel confident, I feel beautiful. And with the tower tied up to this, it's letting me know that this is coming in as a surprise to you. I feel like you kind of expect it to feel more pain um, and more of like separation anxiety from whatever this is, this person, this connection but you're not, you're feeling quite good. And you're kind of like, um, where's the pain? Where's the hurt? Where, like, I, I don't feel any of that. So I feel like you're, this is a good tower. You're a little bit surprised at like just how good and stable you're feeling right now. Let's take a look at this hanged man in your current situation. See what that's about for you. Okay, take that for that. The hangman is clarified by the page of pentacles, the tower again, and the page of cups. You really are, you're like fighting this energy of communicating, of approaching this person, of letting them know like, hey, this is what I have to say. This is how I feel. This is what I'm thinking. Um, you're fighting it. You're stopping yourself. With the tower here and the hangman, that's letting me know like, it's almost like the universe is like shoving you in this direction and you're like, no, I'm not doing it. This is a hard energy to fight. I'm going to be honest. I see you doing it. I see you fighting it. I see you resisting it. But this cannot be easy by any means. By any means. Um, but it's a learning process for you. I feel like you may not be used to listening to how you feel or acting based on how you feel. 
But yeah, this, this is not an easy energy to fight. I'm going to be honest, Gemini. Let's take a look at the death in your near future. You got the Ace of Wands that popped out for that. Two more. Whew, all right. Uh, for the death, you get the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Magician. Whatever ended here in the past at some point, something ended in some part of your life, you want it back. <laughs> You're manifesting it back. You have passion. You have love. You have love for them, and you know they have love for you, so it's like not even a question. You're manifesting whatever this is that ended. You're manifesting it back. You're manifesting kind of like a redo, a start over, um, because there's love and there's passion, so... I don't blame you. Let's take a look at the Two of Swords in your near future. Man, Gemini, your near future is just kind of like, woof. The Two of Swords is clarified by the Four of Wands, the Empress, the Knight of Wands. You're confused because it's all of us. The way it's showing up, Gemini, remember how I said here in your current situation, you're fighting this energy. You want to open up. You want to approach this person and express how you feel and you're fighting it. It's almost like the universe kind of won and the universe is like shoved you in that corner. You're like, okay, okay already. And then it's kind of like in the near future, it just all opens up. You're like, I want this back. I'm manifesting this back. Um, you're a little bit confused. It's almost like all of a sudden you're feeling this intense connection again, this intense bond with this person. And you look at this person and you're like googly eyes, like ugh, all that in a bag of chips, right? Like this person is is the best thing since sliced bread. And it's almost like you're a little bit confused. You're like, wait a minute, I have all these feelings all of a sudden, where the hell did these come from? Because they're not showing up in your past and they're not showing up in your current situation. So to me as a reader, that's letting me know that you may have kind of shoved them down or there's been other things which were occupying your energy. And then once those things cleared out or were resolved, the love and the passion is able to come to the surface in the near future. But your mind is still kind of like, wait a minute, where'd you come from? Um, let's take a look at the Knight of Cups in the near future, closing out your reading. Uh, okay. I don't know why your cards are giving me an attitude today, Gemini. Knight of Cups is clarified by the Six of Swords, the World, and the King of Swords. There's somebody here that you are super, super passionate about you are very attracted to them you have a lot of love for them too and you want to express how you feel and again i feel like this ended between the two of you at some point okay there was something that ended this cycle in the near future is closing out and you are determined to express how you feel to approach the situation from a feelings perspective instead of a mind's perspective um so i love that i love that i really really love that where you kind of like your mind is is taking over your current situation, but in the near future, it's like your feelings are taking over. That's beautiful. Let's take a look at what the universe would like for you to keep in mind this week, Gemini. From the universe, you get the star, the ace of cups, the king of swords. You want a new beginning in love, Gemini. You want a fresh start in love. And not only do you want it from like, my soul wants it, like this is a desire that I have, it also makes sense to you. You've thought this through. You've thought about all the outcomes, all the possibilities, all the ways this could go wrong. And even through all that, you're like, yeah, it makes sense for me to start fresh with this person because there's love and there's passion and I want a new beginning in a loving way with this person. I love that. That's beautiful, Gemini. So that is what I have for you, Gemini. Thanks for tuning in. If this reading resonated, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I'll see you here for your reading next week. Bye, Gemini.